that's right, they're doing
FM County High School for our 2012-2013 awards banquet. I'm so excited for the, the young men and women that's receiving awards this morning. I want to thank my counseling staff and my teachers that have worked really hard to nominate students and select students for these awards that we're going to present to them today. Uh, they are the face of our school, the students. Uh, the students that come in each and every day and work so hard and diligently to reach that goal of a graduation uh, day at Rebel Field and earn that diploma. So I want to welcome you, and at this time I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Heller. Good morning. If you please stand, our junior ROTC is going to have the presentation of our colors.
Would you please join us in the Pledge of Allegiance? Business 
internship that was for. Cashman Morrell, Legal Environment of Business. Lauren Way, Legal Environment of Business. Jay-Z Alford, Computer Applications. <laughs> Ashley Halter, Computer <laughs> Applications. Thank you, awardees. You may be seated. <laughs> Haley Cook, Culinary Arts, ECCA. <laughs> Miguel Latigua, Culinary Arts, ECCA. Justin Hand, Drafting. Marquise Taylor, Drafting. Caroline Nodlinger, Early Childhood Education. Brianna Stewart, Early Childhood Education. Hannah Meyer, Graphics and Design. Victoria Hodges, Graphics Communication, ECCA. Amethyst Ortega, Graphics Communication, ECCA. Robbie Dave, Healthcare, ECCA. Michaela Williford, Healthcare, ECCA. Zachary Bleem, Junior ROTC. Josie Woodward, Junior ROTC. We also have a special award. It's the Military Character Award. And uh, just speaking of this guy personally, I've known him for a long time, graduated with his mother, and I know she would be proud of this moment. Cody Neal. He has demonstrated character worthy of a respected United States soldier, including kindness, respect, perseverance, and high academic performance. <laughs> Madeline Harris, Law and Justice. <laughs> Russell Knox, Law and Justice. These two are mine, and I can brag on them because they're just great kids. <laughs> Chad Mock, Logistics, ECCA. <laughs> Luke Usher, Logistics, ECCA. <laughs> Joanne Sinkovich, Nutrition and Wellness. Courtney Crosby, Nutrition and Wellness.
Richard Williams, Occupational Safety. <laughs> Brett Woodward, Brett Woodard, Occupational Safety. <laughs> Amira Williams, Video Broadcast. Tyler Ziegler, video broadcast. Victoria Peter, work based learning. Morgan Sansell, work based learning. Another special award. Tyranny Hagen, Special Entrepreneurship Award. Tyranny Hagen is receiving an award for an outstanding inter independent entrepreneur entrepreneurship. <laughs> entrepreneurship. Okay. <laughs> Tyranny has independently started her own business as a photographer, where she handles everything from customer service to snapping photos. We are very proud to present this award to Tyranny for not only her diligence in running her own business, but also in maintaining her academic standards by making straight A's throughout her entire high school career. Congratulations. Thank you. You may be seated. And welcome. My name is Jessica Stevenson, and I am pleased to present the following English and Foreign Language Awards. Would you please come forward when you hear your name? Ninth grade literature, Keyshawn Dave. <clears throat> Honors ninth grade literature, Atia Gothi. Tenth grade literature, Chase Smith. <clears throat> Honors tenth grade literature, Shri Chitluri. <clears throat> American literature, Cheyenne Quattlebaum. AP Language, Zachary Snow. <laughs> British Literature, Brittany Peavy. <laughs> AP Literature, Kimberly Sheehan. <laughs> SAT Prep, Kylie Ward. French One, Shri Chitluri. <clears throat> French Two, Hannah Boyd. <clears throat> French Three, Kayla Bridges. <clears throat> Spanish One, Gabby Usher. Spanish 2, Courtney Crosby. And Spanish 3, Harrison Cowart. Thank you. You may be seated. Good 
morning. My name is Wendy Fears, and I'm a math teacher here at ECHS, and I'm here to give the math awards to, to some well-deserving students. If you'll please come forward when I call your name. Coordinate Algebra with Support, Essence Sanders. <laughs> Coordinate Algebra, Kristen McKenzie. <laughs> Accelerated Coordinate Algebra, Gabby Usher. <laughs> Math 2 with Support, Alicia Wright. <laughs> Math 2, Evan Hartzog. <laughs> Accelerated Math 2, Aaron Lee. <laughs> Math 3 with support, Victoria Peter. Math 3, Kelsey Bennett. Accelerated Math 3, Raji Day. Math Finance, Haley Hillhouse. Math 4, Stacy Bergstein. <laughs> Math 4 Precalculus, Victoria McCumbers. <laughs> AP Calculus, Ryan Ratchford. <laughs> and SAT Prep, Keeper Shirouse. <laughs> Congratulations. Good morning. I'm Heather Vanderhoek. I'm a biology teacher here at Effingham County High School, and I'm honored today to acknowledge some exceptional students who have gone above and beyond their um, studies, work ethic, and dedication in science. Myself and fellow science teachers are very proud of the following students. For Biology 1, Toby Martin. <laughs> Honors Biology 1, Weston Oliver. Physical Science, Emily Blackburn. <laughs> Honors Physical Science, Aaron Lee. <laughs> Chemistry, Travis Bird. <laughs> Honors Chemistry, Cheyenne Hunt. Environmental Science, Holly Wittin. <laughs> Biology 2, Bradley Panitsky. <laughs> Anatomy, Nathan Lee. <laughs> Physics, Ryan Ratchford.
and to AP Biology, John Harrison Coward. Congratulations. I'll be presenting the Social Studies Awards. Mr. Hadwin is preparing our seniors for their economics, stating the course test. In world history, Kristen Schumann. <laughs> Honors world history, Dylan Ayers. <laughs> Government, Lauren Boisine. AP Government, Mackenzie Cublin. <laughs> U.S. History, Tam Pham. <laughs> AP U.S. History, Cheyenne Hunt. <laughs> Economics. James Prill. <laughs> AP Microeconomics, Raul Brego. <laughs> Bible as Literature, David Todd. Psychology, Hunter Ganan. Also psychology, Ashley Halter. Congratulations. <laughs> Good morning. On behalf of Ms. Donna Holder, our art teacher, I have the privilege of presenting the Fine Arts Awards. Uh, the first award will go to Stacy Bergsteiner. And the next award for Fine Arts will be Nicole Schau. Thank you guys, you may be seated. Jesse Campbell, General of Physical Education. <laughs> Cal Baker Waits.
Joel Patrick Begley Hale. Outstanding athlete, Cal Baker. Outstanding athlete, Takiya Bartley. Outstanding athlete, Maddie Evans. Outstanding athlete, Caitlin Fears. Outstanding athlete, Latoya Johnson. Outstanding athlete, Alex Neighbor. Outstanding athlete, Savon Powell. Outstanding athlete, Megan Schroeder. Outstanding athlete, Abigail Yeomans. Congratulations. This is one of my favorite awards to present, perfect attendance. Consistent attendance is a very, part, a very important part of, of being successful in high school. Today we honor these students for having perfect attendance for the 2012-13 school year. For all the times that they could have slept in, for all the times when they're sick they could have laid in bed, for all the times that they could have just stayed home. They didn't. They got up and they came to work each and every day. Their work the last four years has been their diligence in the classroom. At this time, I would like to present the following students with Perfect Attendance Award. Rajay Dave. Caitlin DeHill. Felicia E. Bot Owing. Lavelle Gant. Jacob Lambert, Deep Patel, James Prill, and Zaharia Williams. Let's give these students another round of applause. At this time, I would like to award the Agnes Scott College Book Award. Will Rajay Day please come forward? <laughs> Agnes Scott is a liberal arts college for women located in metropolitan Atlanta. Agnes Scott College educates women to think deeply, live honorably, and engage in the intellectual and social challenges of their time. Each year, they award a compelling book. This year is entitled The Starboard Sea to an Outstanding Junior Woman English Student. This year, this award goes to Rajay Dave. Congratulations. Our seniors are going to get a lot of attention in the next few days, but right now we're going to turn our attention to some outstanding juniors. 
There are four um, or three liberal arts colleges in the state of South Carolina that ask us to point out students to them based on the criteria they set. Um, most of this is GPA and high SAT or PSAT scores, whichever they define. And so uh, these students have met this criteria. And if you will line up as you come up in the order I call you and then just stay up here. Um, the first um, college is Wofford College. Um, it's in Spartanburg, South Carolina. And these students are being honored as Wofford Scholars. They will receive special attention in the scholarship uh, awarding um, should they apply to Wofford. John Harrison Cowart. <laughs> Anthony Diaz. <laughs> Cheyenne Hunt. <laughs> and John McLean. The next college, uh, again, these students will receive special attention in the scholarship uh, search should they um, decide to. Um, Anthony Diaz. <coughs> here. Okay. Um, Furman University um, Liberal Arts College in. Uh, Greenville, South Carolina also honors our students this way. These students are John Harrison Coward, Anthony Diaz, Cheyenne Hunt, John McLean, and y'all keep, keep standing there. In addition to those are being honored as Furman Scholars are Abby Johnson, and Casey Wilson. <laughs> Presbyterian College in Clinton, South Carolina honors students on basically the same criteria and the students that are being awarded the Presbyterian Fellow Award today are John Harrison Coward, Diane Hunt, John McLean, Abby Johnson, Zachary Snow, and Casey Wilson. Okay, so stay here. So stay here. And last but not least is our own University of Georgia. They honor not dependent on any test scores yet, but they honor our students, the top 5% of the junior class, and they will receive a lot of attention from colleges and universities within our state based on being in the top 5% of our class. These students are John Harrison Coward, <laughs> Anthony Diaz, John McLean, Abby Johnson, Zachary Snow, Casey Wilson. Okay, and then we've got some new names to add to that. Anna Avila, Brandy, El uh, Brandy Buckner. Rajvi Dave, Michael Farmer, Emily Griner, Angel Hug, Kelly Housen. Sybilis Nixon, Dylan Patel, 
Courtney Purcell, <laughs> Charles Sellers, <laughs> Benjamin Teston, <laughs> and Timothy Wyman. <laughs> Congratulations. I have the honor of presenting the Hugh O'Brien Leadership Award, better known as Hobie. Will Bailey Morgan please come forward? The Hugh O'Brien Leadership Award is given to a sophomore student every year who is voted on by the faculty for their leadership skills and potential. They attend a several day conference with other chosen high school leaders from across the state of Georgia. Congratulations, Bailey. I have the privilege to present uh, those students who have been nominated for the Governor's Honors Awards. Uh, there are only 1% of total number of sophomores and juniors in the state of Georgia who are ever non nominated to the state level for the Go Governor's Honors Program. At this time, when I call your name, please come up and receive your certificate. The first one is Raquel Carpenter being nominated for Communications Arts. Shri Chillery being nominated on Executive Management. John Cower on being nominated in Biology. Raj B. Day on being nominated in Social Studies. James Dykes for being nominated in Ag Science and Biotechnology. Catherine Miles on being nominated for Music Voice Soprano. Chandler Pate on being nominated for Music Voice Soprano. Cassie Wilson on being nominated for Communication Arts. And also, Timothy Wyman for being nominated Music Voice Bass. The Governor's Honors Program was a four-week enrichment program for the gifted high school students. The finalists were chosen based on an application, interview, and auditions. Congratulations to these students for their Governor's Honor nomination. At this time, Mr. Dave Stripke is going to come forward and present some awards for our recycling program. Good morning, Effingham. How are we doing today? Woo! Good morning, Effingham. Good morning. Outstanding. On behalf of Fort Stewart, I get the distinct honor privilege of coming up here every two weeks and picking up paper from your school. So far to date, you, you've picked up 15,000 pounds of paper. And by the time we finish up, we should be around, around 20,000 pounds. And the class that, that, that does this here for us is Miss Kay's class. Now I want to recognize them, them students right now. If they would start coming up here, uh, Jordan Whitaker.
Christina Tyson. Steve Rumbach.
Wow, what an opportunity for young people to be involved. Isn't that what it's about? Finding something for every student in high school to do. A group for them to be a part of. That's what it's about. In closing, I want to thank parents. I want to thank uh, teachers, faculty, and staff. Uh, more importantly, I want to thank you students for striving to be your very best. Uh, you're going to be successful in life, whether you're a senior, a junior, a sophomore, or a ninth grader. Uh, you're, you're here today because you're special and because you've worked hard. So parents, again, thank you for coming out today. And um, seniors, we'll see you in a couple of weeks at uh, class night. Congratulations again to all of you.